Concurrence meditation is a type of meditation that's not necessarily designed to replace your already established practice, particularly if it's a mindfulness-based or a Vipassana type of meditation practice or something that's based on concentration as well because these practices are very important for us to experience and work with the presence that is our true nature. But the concurrence meditation uh, is a, uh, a unique meditation that can be used in uh, a different way. It's a, a method for us to understand ourselves at a different level than we can with, um, perhaps than we can with concentration and uh, mindfulness practices. The word concurrence means a situation in which two or more things happen at the same time. And concurrence meditation has three distinct areas to it. Uh, it's a little bit different than any other form of meditation in that there is some uh, physical writing involved, never during the meditation, but before and after the meditation. And so to start this meditation, you will have to get a piece of paper and something to write with a pen or a pencil. So you can gather that. And that is a uh, really the, the uniqueness behind this practice in that there is this setup in this way. So the, the meditation has an intention to it like any other meditation and that of course includes finding the proper place to practice and finding a place that is free from distractions and so forth. Making yourself comfortable but also getting uh, a piece of paper and a pen to write with. Now there's also an induction, uh, and this is what kind of makes the meditation very similar to a, thero, uh, a hypnotherapy. Um, and this is done within the meditation. You'll, you'll feel this. Uh, it's a, uh, a very um, uh, uh, it's part of the practice that enables one to get into their comfortable place or their destination that they might be working towards. So it might include um, moving along someplace or coming down uh, something like walking down some steps or something like this. This, this is a, a part of the induction and it's very safe and very comfortable feeling. Um, then there's the, some questions and answering that you should be prepared to, be prepared to do. And then there's a journey back. And then afterwards, at the end of the meditation, when we're uh, technically done with the meditation, there uh, is some journaling uh, a process. And we'll all cover that right now as we do the practice. So, with the uh, piece of paper and pencil in front of you, I will ask that you write down three questions that you would ask a uh, truly, somebody that you felt was truly a higher source of uh, consciousness, higher source of knowing, um, that you really felt with all your heart had true uh, wisdom. And these are questions um, and please write them down while you think of them. As soon as I ask what questions you might ask, something will come to mind. Don't hesitate to write it down. We need three of them. And again, these are questions that you'd ask somebody that you felt completely comfortable with, somebody that you trusted with all your heart, uh, somebody that had uh, much loving uh, kindness as part of their, their nature, that in their being that you could, you could just tell. And... Um, somebody that had the answers to the question you're going to ask. So take these three questions 
and by writing them down, just set this next to you and then we'll begin the meditation. Allow the eyes to close. Make sure the body feels comfortable. This is very much a visualization type of practice. And I want you to bring yourself, bring your attention uh, to the breath for a few moments and uh, maybe feel the breath as it comes into the body and as it leaves the body. Feel it as it comes in and as it leaves. Gently breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Now every time you exhale with the breath, notice that at the bottom of that exhalation there's a, a gap right before we breathe in again, a place where nothing is happening. We exhale and there's a little gap and then we breathe in again. And knowing it or not, this gap in our breath is actually the point of the, of the most relaxation uh, in any given period. The body um, cannot relax as well when we're, uh, when we're holding breath, but when we're completely letting go, completely letting go of the breath, completely letting go of, of everything, there's a moment of complete relaxation. See if you can find that moment. Breathing in, breathing out, Relaxation. Breathing in, breathing out. Every time you exhale, relax the body deeper. Relax all the facial muscles as you exhale. Relax the muscles and the, of all the tension that might be held in the neck and in the shoulders. This is an area that we often hold on to stress and tension. Allow the arms to relax, allow the torso to relax, relax the lower back, another area. Complete relaxation. Breathing out. And then bring this relaxation all the way down through the hips and into the legs of the body, the thighs, knees, shins calves, all the way down into the feet, relaxing the toes themselves. Just imagine any kind of tension that you might have in the body, just allow it to leave the body, either through the fingertips or, or through the toes, or just allow it to be let go of. Imagine that you're walking down a road, a country road, something that we might refer to as a dirt road or a gravel road. And it's, it's kind of high up in the air, down below uh, a few feet, we can see the, the landscape. So this road stands up above the landscape on both sides of it. We're careful to stay down the road. We feel very, very comfortable and very relaxed. We're just taking a little hike down the road. And we look to the right, and then we notice there's a stairway that leads down into a very inviting-looking forest. And when we look into the distance of the forest, we can see a little, a little pond that looks very inviting. So we, we decide to walk down these steps. We walk down the steps slowly by the right foot. We walk with the left foot, down with the right foot, down with the left foot walking down the steps with the right foot, and then we get on the bottom landing, and we notice that we're standing on grass. And we begin to walk towards the forest, it's making our way towards the pond that we notice, Be very beautiful pond, it's just beckoning our name, it's calling us. The weather is very beautiful, just a slight breeze, 
perfect temperature. There's no annoying insects. Everything is very comfortable. You feel very happy. You find your way next to the pond in the forest, how clear and still it is. You could, it looks like a mirror. You can actually see the reflection of the trees and the sky and the grass along the edges. You can see the reflection of everything, just like looking into a mirror. You can even see the reflection of yourself when you stand close enough to the pond. But you back up and you look on shore and you notice that there's a very comfortable place to sit and relax. So just as you're sitting right now, whether it's on a cushion or a chair, whatever it might be, visualize yourself next to this pond sitting in this way. Very comfortable, very relaxed, very happy to be in this place. So you just gently close your eyes for a while, take in the scenery of this pond, just take in the senses you're hearing and you're smelling the fresh air. You can feel your body against the, the cushion or the chair. You feel very good, very happy. And you just bring in your attention to the breath for a few moments. Breathing in and breathing out. Very happy to be at this place. We look, uh, we open our eyes and look out on the pond and we can see the mirror-like image, crystal clear. Just like the mirror of the mind, not a wave in it, not a worry, not a, not a ripple, very calm. We feel a need to thank Mother Nature for providing this beautiful area for us. And we get up and make our way towards into the forest a little deeper and we notice as we walk through this area we notice up ahead that there's a there's a fence surrounding a particular spot and the spot seems to have um, seems to be cleared um, manicured very nicely the grass has been cut the trees are well trimmed there's beautiful flowers planted everywhere and there's a path and right before the path that you see in this area, there, you see a gate in the fence. So you slowly walk your way towards this gate. Very interested in to, to see what this area is all about. You feel very comfortable, very relaxed, very happy to be in this place. You make your way to the, the gate of this fence and you slowly open up the gate after reaching for it. You walk through the gate and then you slowly close the gate behind you and latch it. And you turn around and you see in front of you the most beautiful piece of forest with seemingly no end. You seem to be at the beginning of it, but how far does this go back? And this beautiful little path that seems to be manicured, meandering through the woods. So you start to just take a little walk along this path to see what it comes, what you come up to, see what you find. Walking along the path, it's winding its way through the trees. Filtered sun is shining through the trees. There's little meadows here and there not too congested, certainly not dark, very lively place where there's flowers, some tall trees, short trees, bushes, little animals, birds, rabbits. You're walking along the path very slowly, just taking your time, enjoying yourself. Walking along, you realize that you're coming upon a Y in the road or 
a decision to go left or right. So you, you hesitate there and you decide on your path and you take it. And when you've go, come along that path, you feel that you didn't leave anything behind by making that decision, that you know that you made the right decision by taking that way of the path, by taking that why. You're walking along the path, very, very beautiful. You're very, very glad that you made that decision for that area. It's winding along the trees, very, very joyful. Perfect weather, beautiful blue sky, walking along very slowly, enjoying yourself, looking about. As you walk along, you notice there's a creek a little stream running next to you on the left side of you. You can hear it very, very gently. You notice how much you really enjoy the sound of moving water and how tranquil it sounds as you walk along the path, along the creek. Just very happy. And you notice up, up ahead that there is a little footbridge that covers this creek. How interesting, how delightful. So you come upon this footbridge and then you, you cross it and you look on the other side of this creek and there's a beautiful meadow not too far. The little hill. And you walk towards this place. It's very soft grass, very nice. Very nice, cool place and there's some kind of rocky areas, you know, some, some boulders and and it seems like just an ideal, uh, serene, very joyful place to sit for a while. So you do that. You just sit and you look off in the distance, making yourself comfortable. You feel very safe, very secure. In the distance, you notice a, a figure coming your way. And you notice that it's, you can't really tell whether it's a man or a woman. It's kind of a murky figure. It's a, a being that's moving towards you. You can, you can tell that the closer it gets, the more it radiates compassion and love. And you're very happy to have this being come towards you. There's no reason for any kind of worry or to be upset with it. You feel very safe, very comfortable, and it comes up to you and sits across from you about five or six feet and you're you feel very delightful to have it here and you know uh, instinctively that what you're supposed to do next is ask these questions that you had written down on the piece of paper next to you and hopefully they're imprinted in your mind enough so you might not have to look at the piece of paper but if you don't remember what they are by all means just briefly look at the piece of paper with the questions. Know what they are, and then try to memorize the answers that come forth from them. So we ask the first question, asking the being the very first question, and we wait for an answer for a few moments. Within this answer could be silence. Within this answer could be actual words. There could be body language involved. Could be any number of things, but we have to have and want to have confidence in knowing that when the answer is questioned, or when the question is delivered, the answer comes forth. And it could be in the form of silence, something that we might not have to hear. We now ask the second question. Just take your time, ask the question in very simple, matter-of-fact words, and wait for the answer. Now, 
again, the answer might come forth in different ways, body language, words, through silence. Try to remember what the answer might have been or is and ask the third question. Carefully asking the third question, notice what the answers are. Again, you feel very, very happy and very blessed to be having this opportunity to ask these questions in front of this uh, wise being that is in front of you. And you gratefully acknowledge with a slight bow, uh, just in your visualization, you thank this being for being here. And you know that you um, will be seeing more of each other. The, be the being thanks you for being and makes its way back to where it came from, slowly getting up. You remain sitting, but the being gets up and slowly makes their way back. As you watch them leave, you also feel a, a, a leaving of some very fantastic energy. You feel like this is a, a very important event, a very important meeting of, between you and this, per, this person or this being. You're very happy for the experience. At this point, you rise from this place that you found, this meadow, and you notice how bright, clear, happy the sky is, how happy you are to be there. As you make your way out of this meadow, try to remember again what the answers to your questions were. Just briefly ask yourself if you remember the questions and the answers. Now, as you make your way to the footbridge, you cross opposite of the way you came in and you find yourself back on the path again, the path that you came from. So you're turning on the path to turn towards the way you came and you indeed start walking back to where you came on the path, slowly making your way, winding down the path, one step after another, looking about, enjoying yourself. You notice you again come upon the Y in the road and you know without a doubt that you made the absolute right choice in taking the path you did. And maybe next time you'll take the other, the other path and see what it has in store for you. You walk past the, the Y in the road towards where you originally came from. You're heading towards the gate. You're heading towards the gate in the fence, you're making your way slowly winding down the path, noticing the flowers and the trees and the shrubs and bushes. Very happy and very peaceful. You make your way to the gate. You're happy to be here and you reach out and you open the gate and let yourself through. And then again, you slowly close the gate behind you and allow it to latch. You then turn around and make your way back to, again, where you came from. You came from the pond. You head towards the pond, slowly making your way there. And you notice again that the pond is very clear, very, very beautiful reflection, just like looking in the mirror. You look in the pond yourself and you see that you look very, very clear. Your eyes are clear, your skin is clear. You look happy, you look complete. And then you back off and you notice the reflection of the grasses and the trees and the clear blue sky in the pond, very beautiful. And you notice the spot where you were sitting a little while ago. And you thank that pond for being there and thank it for giving you its guidance. And you head towards the little stairway that leads you up to the road where you began. You're walking up to the stairway. You step on the stairway using your right foot. You step on up on the next rung and with your left foot 
and then get them through your right foot. You're stepping up with your left foot, your right foot. And then you find yourself on the road, on the country road. And you head back to where you came from on that road. But you might decide to head down the road a little bit further, if you like, just to see what's there. But just imagine yourself on this road and knowing that this is your path in life. Too far to the left, too far to the right. Might not get you where do you want to go as opposed to just staying down the middle. With wisdom and morality and the practice of meditation, these things can help us stay there in the middle of this path. Now, take a moment, please, and remember the questions and the answers. And the idea is to write the answers underneath each question. This journaling can be done in such a way that we should write the date up in the right-hand corner, whatever today's date is, and keep these uh, in a tablet. Keep them in order. Write down the questions and the answers. Uh, and then after the third answer, you can write down anything elaborate that you feel like you want to write down. Uh, anything about the experience itself, how it made you feel, how it felt to commune with, with this being who you... Uh, what it might have represented for you. The idea is not to try to make the being very personal or something that you recognize, but uh, making it something that is more of a, uh, uh, makes more of a presence of, of wisdom so that's not very uh, cognitive for you. There's no trying to figure out what this is or who it is. Use these questions and answers for a guidance in your life. You have an opportunity to ask uh, a question, any, the, maybe a very, very important question. And uh, the, if the answers are there, which usually they are, I've been instructing this type of meditation for quite a while, and I get amazing reports from people, from the answers that come from the questions. And of course, the answers come from within you. Nothing outside is really directing this. The, all of the answers are inside of you already. And what, all we're doing is, a, is letting go and allowing them to come forth. So this is, uh, uh, has been a concurrence meditation. And you can find out more about this on the link below. Or you can visit a Meditation Learning Center or... Uh, shanewilson.org and you will find uh, more detailed information about this. So I hope you enjoy, I hope you can use it, and thank you very much for listening.